you called and we do specialist boutique weddings for people who want something more personal and that is better for them as a couple. Um, we don't bring brochures with us on a first meeting, we don't really look at photographs because we want something that represents you and your husband. Um, so I know you've met with us today to see if we would be suitable candidates to help you plan your wedding. Um, <coughs> We organise everything from the cake to the um, favours to the wedding suits to the wedding dress um, to the flowers, decorations, paper lanterns. We can just, you know, people do stargazing, you can just do anything you like. Um, so, is that something you'd be interested in? Oh, wonderful. And do you have any ideas on the price range? Or... Oh, you do, that's brilliant. So. Today I think what we'll do is have a discuss of ideas of things you like. Um, I'll tell you details, I'll then go home, get all the information, get all the pictures, get all the things sorted and then we can meet again in a few weeks time and really discuss through what you want. Um, so I'll just take your name first, is that right? And your husband's as well. Okay, so it's Claire and Toby Possibilities are just endless. Right, okay, so you're thinking you're thinking probably about summertime. Okay, that'd be nice. <coughs> Wonderful. And um, let's have a discuss through some ideas. Do you have any idea of something you do want? Or so you you want you're thinking of a woodland themed wedding? Oh no, that's brilliant. because you like your cake idea. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So let's start with what you know you want. So, all right, okay. Yeah, tree trunk wedding, uh, sorry. Tree trunk wedding cakes are, I think, very special because you can actually get things like your initials put into them. Um, with little birdies and strawberries and flowers on. I think that would be really cute. You can even have a little couple stud at the top with a little can of pear. That's wonderful. And yeah, it's always good. They actually do a thing now where you can get plain Victoria sponge. Um, you can get plain Victoria sponge. Oh, sorry, the cafe is getting a bit loud, isn't it? <laughs> um, you can get little plain Victoria sponge cakes. Um, with cream and a uh, little forest fruits on, which looks really cool. What's that something you'd be interested in? I mean, I can put that as extra just for now, but just so I can get all the information sorted. Now, are you interested in getting married in a church, or were you thinking more of an outdoor wedding? I mean, it's completely up to you. Right, okay. Outdoor. Um, so, I mean, the thing with that is you can either have a private wedding and then a big party where everyone comes together, congregates and have a love ceremony, or um, what we can do for you is um, try and find a venue which is near the registry office. Everyone will come and go to the woodland party. You can even do a lot of maps so nobody has any idea where they're going afterwards and they have to try and find out where they're going. I mean, that can be quite exciting, like a treasure hunt. Um, yeah, I mean, you can even have a Robin Hood themed wedding or you don't even have to have a theme. I think the woodland theme's very nice. So, uh, you know, I think it's very in town, like party hats and uh, more buffet food rather than, I mean, you can have hot buffet food, but more like an outdoor picnic and a coming together of love rather than a, um, you know, traditional sort of wedding. Um, what, 
or what we call traditional, it doesn't matter. Um, but you can, what one couple did, which was lovely, was they actually handmade their own rings beforehand, so they stemmed them into wood and wrapped gold around it. They went to this workshop, which I think is an absolutely fantastic idea. Um, it's completely up to you, and I think wedding dress wise, you do have to be careful because if you're renting one, with the mud, so we suggest wearing wellies or very good shoes, you know, it's worth thinking about. Um, Marquis are very expensive at the moment, um, just as costly as a, a natural wedding venue, but then if that's what you want, then obviously just go for it. Um, we're you thinking of, oh my gosh, that's a brilliant idea, so you're thinking of having books and um, recycling door library and you know bean bags and the marquees and stuff. Yeah, I think that's a lovely idea. I'll just drop these things down. So if you're interested in a marquee, I've got the wedding cakes and would well, you like the map invitation idea? Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Okay, that's brilliant. And um, do you have a price range in mind, although I know nobody likes to write about this? Right, okay, I'll put that down. That's actually a good price range for a wedding. Um, and we've had people who've had £800 for everything and it can get a bit tight. All of it's completely manageable. To be fair, it's about the love. It's not... You don't need all the rest of it. You know, it's brilliant. Make them best of what you've got. Some people are happier with that than the ones who have like spent 50 grand on it. Wish I had 50 grand. So, yeah. <coughs> so, yes. Um, let's have a think. So, do you have any ideas of whereabouts you want your wedding? Uh, do you have a miles radius? Because the obvious places to me would probably be Annick Gardens. With your budget, I think you'd be able to manage it if we ever speak to them and see. Because we could always hire somewhere that's nearby. That might be a possibility. Um, so you get married in the castle, is the castle something you'd be interested in? I think it works because there's like a string bridge where you have to walk across it to get to it. Yeah, you would be interested, it's not. You don't have to make it grand and you don't have to make like a traditional castle wedding. You can do it up with fruit and or anything. I think fruit's a bit crazy, but sorry, I get a bit excited, but you, you know what I mean. I think that would be excellent. Yeah, it's not like traditional wedding. Um, but then there's Rushpool Hall, um, there's Thornton, um, Thornton Hall. There's just, I mean, the possibilities are pretty much endless. Um, it just depends what you want, and you can even just hire out a field and just do what the hell you want. So it's up to you. So, but yeah, it's just up to you, really. Um, do you have any idea on any of this knickknacks you've seen on places like Pinterest that you want me to know? Or, what quite a lot of people do, does do. What quite a lot of people do is actually send me their Pinterest page and all the stuff they're interested in. I think that's a very good option for people because there's just loads of great ideas on there. Um, but I think we've definitely got our fee sorted, which is the main thing. Um, have you had any thought about colour scheme? Because that's quite poignant. I think. A lot of people now with woodland weddings don't go through for a theme as such, they go for a plain address um, and then they will get, they won't have a bouquet of one type of flower, they'll have almost a mixture of loads of different ones, really pretty summertime pastel colours are very pretty in the moment or you can go for the very bright cardamom, I think that's the hell of a thing I've got it you can get the right type of bright pink and was all of the same colour. That's also very effective. Um, I don't know, I think for a woodland wedding, um, just having a bunch of wild type flowers, I mean, what some people do actually as well is they will, um, they will hand pick blossoms 
and dry them out and then use them as confetti so that it's uh, that's what I'm really interested in up, up and down so that's all confetti you can get companies to do that for you but it's quite pricey so I'd suggest doing that by yourself um, um, but I think we can definitely get all we've said so far sorted um, I think mainly for you the thing to do is to go buy a journal this is what I suggest you go buy a journal you get more of an idea of what you want because at the moment we've just got a word and we're sort of jumbling stuff together so you know exactly what you want um, I'll start taking what you've given me here and forming it into a some sort of structure um, but I think we've got a really good start and I think actually as a company we can do a lot for you um, don't just keep meeting up with tea and cake and you know sorting everything out um, um, and I think it'll work I think that sounds like it'll be lovely uh, we, I mean if you're thinking of getting married on the 1st of July I would possibly suggest well, we're going to have to do it um, possibly for 2016 because that's how long the waiting list is you'd be very lucky to get a date like that um, I know it's your did you say it was your mother's birthday um, so if that's important to you then I'd definitely suggest waiting another year before you um, you need more time than that nowadays so it's changed a lot so I definitely suggest doing that and it also makes it more fun and relaxed and gives you more time to get sorted I mean there's things like bunting, favours, cupcakes, buffet you know it's just crazy people get sick of wedding talks so yeah but for now I think that's great I think you need to go home get a book get some ideas down send them over I'll start looking at businesses and we can get that for you and we can get that date sorted because once that's done everything else we can fit into place sound alright for you. Okay, I know it seems very brief this first meeting, but it's literally just us getting to know you and seeing if we can be of use, and I think definitely for you, with the right company. Oh, that's so nice to you, thank you. Okay, does that sound alright for you, or do you feel it's been a bit too much of a whirlwind? I know that's been alright, that's great. Okay, um, if that's alright with you, what I'm going to do is take notes, okay. You know, my laptop, I'll go and have a look and I'll get sorted. Alright, that's wonderful. Okay, well, do you want to pick in another meeting while we're still here? Okay, how does the uh, 2nd of July sound? Sounds like I'm saying that. It's the other day, ready, said. Out, 3.30pm. Okay, that's lovely. I'm going to shut this up and...